For this project, any Category 3 yarn will work, but I used three skeins of Lion Brand's Mandela Baby Yarn in the color Echo Caves. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using four stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 5.5mm hook, and start off by making a chain that goes from the base of your neck down to the tip of your shoulder minus 1 inch. So I'm going to make a chain that comes out to 20 chains, or that's 5 inches or 13 centimeters. And keeping in mind that your chain needs to be in multiples of two. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that loop that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a single crochet. Now once when we have that, we're just going to go all the way down our chain, putting one single crochet into every loop that we have, and I'll meet you guys back at the end of the chain. Now that we made it all the way down with our first row of single crochet, what we're going to do from here is start our star stitch. So we're going to stick with each other for quite a little bit. Once when we get here, we're going to do a chain up of two. This is how we're going to start every star stitch row. And then from here, we're going to flip our work. And now we're going to be pulling up two loops from this second chain from our hook that we have right here. So the easiest way to explain this is to first insert our hook into the back loop, into the second chain that we have from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook into that back loop yarn over, pull through, we should have two loops on our hook, and then we do need to pull up just one more loop from that same chain. So from here, we're going to go into the front loop that we have. So we're going to insert our hook into, oh, let's try that again. We're going to insert our hook into that front loop. You guys may have to separate it a little bit. But once when your hook goes through that chain, we're going to yarn over, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook. And then once we have this, we're going to be going into the next three stitches that we have into our single crochet row. And we're going to be pulling up a loop from each of those stitches. So what we're going to do is go into that first available loop that we have in our single crochet row. Insert. Pull through. We have four loops on our hook into that next available loop. Insert. Pull through. We should have one, two, three, four, five. And then one more. Yarn over, pull through. And then at the very end, we should have one, two, three, four, five six loops on our hook. Once we have those six, we're going to yarn over and then we're going to pull through all six of those loops. And this is going to form our star. And just to close off our star, what we're going to do from here is do a yarn over, pull through. And now this star is closed and that little loop that we made is the middle of our star. And then that's going to be how we start off every first star that we have into every star stitch row. And then now from this star on is going to be how we're going to do every other star from here. So let's move on to the next portion. So into that little loop that we just made for ourselves, we're first going to insert our hook in through that loop. We're going to need to pull up more stitches. So we're going to yarn over, pull through. Once when we have that, we're going to go into that last loop that we have into our star stitch stitch right here. So we're going to insert our hook into that next loop, pull through three loops on our hook, and then we're going to be going into that last loop that our star stitch is going into, into the previous row, the one that is occupied. Insert, pull through, and we have four loops on our hook. And then we should always have six loops on our hook once we're ready to pull through everything. So we're going to be going into the next two stitches as well. So into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. And then into the stitch after that, yarn over, pull through, and now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Once we have those six, we're going to yarn over, pull through all of those six. From here, we're going to do a chain up of one, and then we're going to do this star stitch that we just did one more time together. So we're first going to insert our hook in through the middle of that star stitch that we just made, yarn over, pull through. That is two loops on our hook. Once we have that, we're going to insert our hook in through the last loop that we have in the previous star stitch right here, 
from there yarn over pull through we should have three loops on our hook and then also insert your hook into this last loop that our previous star stitch went into the very last one insert pull through we should have four loops on our hook and then into the next two available loops we're going to be putting one we're not going to be putting anything we're going to do a yarn over so we're going to insert let's not split it pull through here's one two three four five we're going to do this one more time because we need six insert pull through one two three four five six yarn over pull through all six loops do a chain up of one to secure and we're going to keep doing these star stitches going all the way down and then i'll meet you guys at the very end so that i'll show you guys how to close off this star stitch row and then i'll show you guys how to do the row after that as well so we just made our way all the way down with our first row of star stitches and this is what it should look like right now and we just need to close this off because obviously this is at a curve so all we're going to do super simple we're just going to prepare for a half double crochet and then even though this last loop has our star stitches in it we're just going to insert our hook with a half double crochet just to make this edge even and then from here we do need to make our way all the way back down so that we can start our star stitches going down the other way so we're going to do a chain up of one flip our work and then from here we're going to go back with a row of single crochet so into this first gap that we have right here we're going to go in with one single crochet and then from here we're going to go into this middle loop that we have into our star stitch so into this first one only we're going to go in with one single crochet and then into all the other middle stitches that we have into our star stitch we're going to go in with two single crochets so as an example this is our next one that we have right here we're going to go into there with one and then two let's go into that next one with one and then two next one one single crochet two single crochet we're going to keep going all the way down until we get to the end once we get to the end just to refresh you guys one more time we're going to be doing the first two star stitches together and then from there i'll let you guys have at it until we need to start increasing but we'll talk about that in the next clip we've just gone down with our row of single crochet and we have put two single crochets into each of the middle portions of our stars that we made for ourselves and then now we're at this little juncture that we have right here so we have the same amount of loops that we actually started with just to remind you guys i made a chain of 20 and from here all the way down to the end i have 20 stitches but so that we can smooth this out we're just going to do a single crochet into this last loop that we have right here just like that once we do that now we can get started on our star stitches let's do that together really quickly we're always going to start off by doing a chain up of two from here we're going to flip our work and then we're going to need to pull up two loops from this second chain from our hook so we're going to be inserting our hook once into the back loop and then once into the front loop so let's do that together we're first going to insert our hook in through that back loop yarn over pull through we should have two loops on our hook and then we are going to probably need to separate our two loops this is the back loop we just went into now we're going to be going into this front loop so we're going to try our best to keep this on camera and then go in through that front loop just like that yarn over pull through just that front loop we should have three loops on our hook and then just for this first one as well we're going to be going into the next three stitches that we have so into that first stitch that we have into this row yarn over pull through four loops on our hook that next stitch yarn over pull through five loops yarn over pull through one two three four five six loops once we have our six we're going to yarn over pull through all six do a chain up of one to close off our first star and then now let's do our second star which is our second all the way down to the end is going to be the same way we do this star so what we're first going to do is insert our hook into that middle loop that we just made for ourselves into the first star insert pull through we're going to insert in through that last loop that we have in the previous star stitch right here yarn over pull through three loops and then also go into that last loop that has that last star stitch into it even though it's occupied yarn over pull through four loops and then we're also going to be going into the next two available loops that's right after that star stitch so into that next one pull through five loops into that next loop pull through now we have our one two three four five six from here we're going to yarn over pull through all six loops do a chain up of one to secure 
And then that is pretty much it. We're just going to keep doing this all the way down. Remember, once we get to the end, we're going to do a half double crochet into that same last loop that we have. Do a chain up of one and then do single crochets going all the way back. And then we're just going to keep going back and forth like this until we hit our underarm. And then we're going to do a little increase there so that it can hit mid underarm. And then we'll just go all the way down from there. So I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to do our increase. So we are back with our little star stitch section. And what we're going to do from here is now start to expand just one side of it so it can reach our mid underarm. But just to let you guys know from here, I have a total of six and a half inches or 17 centimeters or 20 rows in total. And I did end on a star stitch row so that we can do our increases into our single crochet row, which is a little bit different, but that's the best way how to increase this section. And all we're going to do into the single crochet row is just first of all do an increase of two into this outside corner. So into this little gap that we have, we're going to go in with one single crochet and then two single crochet. And then we're going to go in with the normal stuff. So we typically put one more single crochet into here. So go ahead and do that. And then for this first one, we put one single crochet into the middle of this star. Just like that. And then from here, go ahead and put two single crochet into the middle of every other star, which is what we've been doing this entire time. Once we get to the end, go ahead and start off doing your star stitches and then go all the way down. Once when we're done, we should end up with an extra star stitch at the very end since we have these extra two loops. So once when I have this next star stitch row, I'll just show you guys what mine's looking like. So I've just gotten in with a little star stitch increase right here. So just to let you guys know, in the previous row, I had 10 star stitches. And then now that we did our increase, we have a total of 11. And then we're going to keep increasing into our single crochet row like this until this hits mid underarm. And then from there, it's just a straight shot down until you guys want the cardigan to stop. Keeping in mind, we will have a bottom border as well. So once when I have my increases, I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys what it looks like. And then from there, we'll just keep going. So we are back and we've just finished doing this little increase portion that we did so that we need to meet our mid underarm. And just to let you guys know, now I have a total of 26 rows. But once when we reach this, all we're going to do is just go straight down with our regular star stitches and then single crochet rows. So once when I have all of that done, I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I am back and I've just made my way all the way down with our star stitches right after we did our increases. And I just went all the way down the length of my duster cardigan that I wanted. And just to let you guys know, I have a total of 127 rows and that total came out to 42 inches or 106 centimeters. And we're gonna need to do all of this one more time for the other panel. The only difference is that on this side, since we did an increase along this side, we're gonna have to do an increase along the other side since this doesn't repeat on the back. So go ahead and do this little swatch that we have right here that went from the base of our neck to the outside of our shoulder, minus an inch, and then do the same amount of rows that you guys had from there all the way down until you guys are ready to start doing your increases again. I just so happen to have mine already done, so we can do our increases together right now. So we have our little swatch that we have right here, and I'm going to keep this right here just so we have a visual on what side we're going to be increasing on. But working on this guy, like I said in one of the previous clips, just as a refresher, from here all the way down, I had a total of 20 rows, and that came out to about 6.5 inches or 17 centimeters, sorry, for myself. But you guys go ahead and do whatever size you guys need. But once when you guys get here, you guys should end on a star stitch row, and then we increase into our single crochet rows. So as a refresher, on this side, we did an increase right where our hook was along this side. So basically just right here. But since we need to do an increase on the other side, we're going to do the regular single crochets that we always do going all the way down until we get to this last loop right here. And then we're gonna go in with an increase of two single crochets. So go ahead and do your single crochets going all the way down and then I'll meet you guys back once we get back to this last loop. So we've just made our way all the way down with our single crochet row. We left that last middle star loop so that we can increase into there together. So we would typically just be putting two single crochets into there. So we're actually going to be putting four into that last loop. So here's one, two, the two that we normally put. Let's close that off. And then we're going to be putting two more into that same loop. So there is one, 
and then two. That is our increase for this side. And then remember, we do go into this last loop as well so that we can keep this edge nice and clean. So just one single crochet into there. And from there, do your chain up of two, flip your work, and then your increases should be along this side. And then everything should even out the same way that it is on this side. So I'm just going to lay this down and then I'll talk you guys through the rest and then I'll let you guys go from there. So if we're keeping up with the pattern, <laughs> things should be working out quite nicely. We have our increases on this side and one side is all done. And then our increases will be along this edge. And then once we have the same amount of rows of increases that we have on this side over here, then we're just going to go straight down for the same amount of rows that we have along this side. And then that is pretty much it for the front panel. So go ahead and just do however many rows you guys need for the increase. And from there, just do a straight shot all the way down of single crochets and then star stitch rows. And then I'll meet you guys back once when this second panel is all finished up. So I've just finished up going in with both of our front panels and everything is looking pretty good. So once when we have both of these guys, the next thing we're going to do is the back panel. And that's going to be fairly easy. The first thing we're going to want to do is measure ourselves from shoulder tip to shoulder tip. And I have already taken my measurement, which is a total of 14 inches or 36 centimeters. So I'm going to take my same category three yarn, my same five and a half millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that comes out to 56. Remembering that our initial chain needs to be in multiples of two. And now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one. And then just like our front panels, we're going to go in with a row of single crochet. So go ahead and put one into every chain that we have. And once we made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochet, this first little chunk that we're going to be doing is the same chunk that we did for our front panel. So we're going to go in with our star stitch first, and then we're going to do a row of single crochet, just like how we did over here. And we're going to keep going until we have this same chunk that we have until we're ready to start doing our increases. So let's just, as a refresher, do two star stitches together, and then I'll let you guys go from there. So once when we get here, the very first star stitch that we do, we're always going to start up with a chain up of two, flip our work, and then we're going to be pulling up two loops from the second chain from our hook. So we're going to go into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then go into this front loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook from doing those two pull ups. And we're going to insert, pull through four loops, insert into the next pull through, we should have five and then into the next pull through, we should have six. Once we have six loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops, do a chain up of one to close off our first star stitch for our back piece. And then now we're going to do our regular star stitches. So what we're going to do from here is go into that little star circle that we just made for ourselves, the middle portion of it right here. We're going to insert, pull through, go into that last loop that we have into the previous star stitch, insert, pull through, and then also go into that last stitch that the star stitch is going into in the previous row. So into that last single crochet right here, insert, pull through. Doing all that, we should have four loops on our hook and we need a total of six. So we're going to be pulling up a loop from the next two loops as well. So insert, pull through five loops, insert, pull through, six loops. Once when we have our six, we're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops, chain up of one to secure. And now we have two star stitches right next to each other. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to the end. Once we get to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one and then do single crochets back so that we can make our way back over to this side so we can do more star stitches. So go ahead and just keep going back and forth like that until you guys have the same amount of rows that you guys have right here. And then once when you guys are ready to start doing increases for the underarm portion, I will meet y'all back. So I've just finished up going in with my solid portion that we have for our back piece. And now we're going to have to do our little increases, the same increases that we had to do for our front panels. But instead of just increasing on one side, obviously we're going to have to increase on both sides. So we're just going to do this next single crochet row together because we're increasing into our single crochet row. And then that's it from there. You guys just keep going just like how we did the front panel until you guys have the same amount of rows as your increases on the front. And then from there, I'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on the rest of the pattern that we have right here. But let's get started on this increase really quickly. So what we're going to do from here is once when we have our last star stitch, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work. And all we're going to do is put an increase of two single crochets on each end. So into this first gap that we have right here, we're going to go in 
with the one single crochet that we always go in with, but we're also going to be going in with two more. So here is one, and then here's two. So into this gap, we should have a total of three single crochets. Once we have that, we're going to go into that next middle loop that we have in our star with just one single crochet. And from here, just put two single crochets into each of these stars, which is what we've been doing this entire time. And then I'll meet you guys back once we make our way down to this last middle loop that we have into this last star, and then we'll increase into there together as well. So I just made it all the way down with our row of single crochets, and we've made our way down to this last loop that we have into the middle of our last star. And so we're gonna be doing an increase of two into there, but we still need to do the two single crochets that typically go into there, so in total, this last loop is going to have four single crochets. So let's do that together. Let's do one, two. I guess we can count those as the ones that would typically go in there. And then now we're going to do an increase of two into that same loop. So there's one, two again. So now there's four single crochets into that loop. And then just like how we did in the front, once we get to the end, we are going to have this little chunk that sticks out. We're going to single crochet in there just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of two flip our work and then start doing our star stitches. And then as you guys can see, it's gonna start expanding just like this because we did our increases along the edges. And so go ahead and just make sure you guys are doing your increases for the same amount of loops that you guys have in the, for the same amount of rows that you guys have in your front panel. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we are done with our increase section. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with our increases along the bottom. And the rest of this is going to be fairly simple. It's just going to be alternating rows of back loop half doubles and back loop singles. And we're just going to go straight down from there, but let's just get these first two rows started with each other. So getting started on this first row of the bottom half of our cardigan, we're just going to keep going from where we left off at. So from here, all we're going to do is do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. And for this first row on top of this single crochet row that we did right after we did our increases, we're gonna go in just putting one regular half double into every loop. And then go ahead and keep doing this all the way down. I'll meet y'all back at the end of this row. Now that we made our way down with our first half double crochet row, now we're gonna be working with back loop single crochets. So what we're gonna do from here is just do a chain up of one, flip our work, and these are regular single crochets just going in through these back loops that we have right here. So we're gonna insert our hook into that back loop yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and keep doing this, going all the way down, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. And now that we've made it to the end, what we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of two, flip our work, that counts as a half double crochet. And from here, we're just gonna do back loop half double crochets. So we're gonna prepare for a half double crochet, go into that first back loop, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all three. That is our back loop half double. And from here, we're just going to be alternating between back loop singles and back loop half doubles until we have the entire length that we need that matches the front panel that we have. So I'm going to keep going until I have a total, including my star stitch rows, a total of 127 rows. So I'll meet you guys back once when we have all of that done. So a couple hours and a nap later, we are all finished up with our entire back piece. And now the next thing we're gonna have to do is seam the front panels onto the back. So this part's going to be fairly simple. We're gonna be working it one front panel at a time. And we're first gonna start off with the shoulders. So we're first gonna wanna make sure that we are aligning the front panel to the back panel correctly. We want this little decrease section that we did to match this one. So once when we figure out where this is, we're gonna take the star stitch section and then make sure that that is facing the, the other star stitch section for our back, making sure that the little underarm chunk right here is aligned. Once when we have that, we're just gonna go across the row of single crochet to seam up the shoulder. So seaming these two pieces is going to be fairly easy. All we're gonna do is take our same hook, insert that into the back panel's corner, and then into the front panel's corner, take our yarn, insert that onto our hook, and pull through do a chain up of one to secure. Once we have that, we're just gonna be doing a row of single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. Then we're gonna cut and tie once we don't have any more loops left to go into, so let's do the first few together. We're gonna be inserting our hook into the next available loop that we have into the front panel, 
and then into that next available loop that we have into the back panel. Once we have that, we're going to single crochet everything closed. Let's do that together just one more time into the next available loop into the front panel, next available loop into the back panel, and then single crochet. Once we have that, we're just going to keep doing that all the way down as we get to the end. Go ahead and cut and tie. And we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. And now that we have both of our shoulders all seamed up, what we're going to do next is seam up the sides. So this next part is going to be completely up to you guys. All we're going to do is start at this underarm portion where we stop doing our increases over here. And then we're just going to go all the way down, making sure that our work is still flipped inside out. But we're just going to do this single crochet seam going all the way down. And then you guys can either figure out where you guys want your bottom slit if you guys want one at all. Or you guys can just go all the way down. But I do want one and my slit is in the 30 second row counting from the bottom coming all the way up. Or this is a total of 10 inches or 25 centimeters. But once when we have figured that out, go ahead and insert your stitch marker into both sides, making sure you're going in through the front panel and the back panel. And then from there, I'll just show you guys how to do the first couple single crochet seams, and then I'll let you guys go from there, and then we can do both sides. So inserting our hook into the single crochet row that is right after our increases that we did along both sides, making sure that you guys have the same amount of rows on both sides, I'm just going to be inserting my hook into that side single crochet loop on this side. And then into that same side single crochet loop on the back side. And now I can take my stitch marker out. Once we have that, we're going to pull through, chain up one, and secure. And from here, working our way down our seam, we're going to be working into side half doubles and side single crochet rows. And all we're going to do is just put one single crochet into each of those. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way down until we hit our stitch marker or until we hit the bottom, depending on where you guys want to end and then do the same thing on the other side. So we've just finished up going in with our side seam and we are now ready to go in with our sleeve. As you guys can see, I already have one of mine done. So let's go ahead and do the next one together. And going into the armhole is going to be the same way that we went into the side. So we're just gonna be working into side singles inside half double crochet rows. So we're just gonna go in putting one single crochet into each of those rows. What I like to do is insert my hook into any one of these loops that's along the bottom. It doesn't matter which one. Insert my yarn onto my hook and then pull through. Once when I have that, I'm going to do a chain up of one to secure. And then go all the way around with a row of single crochets. Once we make it around to the first single crochet, we're going to slip stitch into there and then I'll meet you guys back. So we've just made our way around with a row of single crochet that went all the way around. We slip stitched into that first one. And now what we're going to do from here is go in with our first row of half doubles. But this is actually going to alternate between a couple half doubles to doubles just for the first five rows of these half double crochets because we are going to want to switch out between half double and single just like how we did for the back portion right here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just make sure that our work is flipped right side out. If not, then go ahead and do that now. And then once when we have that right side out, we can go ahead and go in with our first row. So this is going to be all dependent on you guys, but what I like to do, since we're going to start off with doing half double crochets first, because this needs to be smaller, because we don't want a little too much fabric down here, otherwise it'll buckle where the underarm is, I'm just going to be going in with 10 half double crochets, and then do double crochets from that point, going all the way up and around, and then close it off with another 10 half doubles. So let's just do that together. From here, we're going to do our chain up of two, Prepare for a half double, and for this first row, we're going to be going in through the front loops as well. So prepare for a half double, insert your hook into that next loop that we have, making sure we're only going through that front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to keep putting one half double for as long as you guys want, but I will meet you guys back once when I have my 10 front loop only half double crochets. Now that we are back, we have our 10 front loop only half double crochets. And what we're going to do from here is do our front loop double crochets from wherever we ended going up and around the shoulder. And then we're going to close off with more front loop half double crochets from that point all the way down to the end. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this once and then I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to do our half double. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook still going in through those front loops. Insert it into that front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and just keep doing that all the way around until we have just 10 stitches left so we can go in with our last 10 half double crochets. 
We're back with our front loop double crochets, and now we have just 10 loops left, so we're gonna go in with front loop. So now we're gonna go in with front loop half doubles. So same as the beginning, prepare, insert into that front loop, pull through, pull through all three. And keep doing this all the way down. I'll meet you guys at the end of this row. Now that we've made our way all the way to the end and we have slip stitched into that second chain that we made for ourselves when we first started this row, what we're gonna do from here is the same thing that we did for the back. So we're gonna do a chain up of one. We're going to flip our work. And once when we flip our work, we're gonna be doing back loop single crochets. So into that first back loop that we have right here, single crochet. And then once we've made our way all the way around, we are going to be slip stitching into this first single crochet that we made. We're gonna do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this half double to double crochet row just one more time. So we just did our back loop single crochets going all the way down and we have slip stitched into that first single crochet that we made for ourselves. And now we're gonna go in with more half doubles to double crochets, but for every row that we have for the rest of our sleeve, it's gonna be going into the back loop. So let's just get this started together. We're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. From here, we're gonna prepare for a half double and then into this first loop, we're gonna be inserting our hook into that back loop with a half double. And then go ahead and put however many half double crochets that you guys put into the first row of our half double crochet to double crochet row and switch out for our double crochets, all while maintaining going into the back loops. And I'm gonna keep doing this alternating between our back loop double crochet to double crochet row and our back loop single crochet row for a total of 10 rows and then after that we're just going to be going in with back loop single crochets and then back loop half doubles but i'll meet you guys back once when we're ready to start doing that but the only tip that i have is remember once when you guys get back to the end of the row we're going to do a chain up of however we need to chain up and then we're going to flip our work so that our ribbing matches the ribbing that we have on the back but go ahead and just do that and then i'll meet you guys back in just a little bit so we're back with our 10 rows. We have just gone in with all of our half double to double crochet rows that goes all the way around. Once we get to the end, we do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do back loop slip stitches. And we're just doing that going back and forth. And then from here, this is gonna be fairly simple. We did end on a back loop single crochet row. So once when I have my five, you guys can obviously do more or less of the half double to double crochet rows if you want but I'm ready to just go in with regular back loop half doubles. So I'm basically just here to remind you guys. Once when we get here, all I'm gonna do is a chain up of two, flip my work, and then do back loop half doubles. Once we make our way to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then back loop singles. And just keep going back and forth just like that. And I'm gonna keep going until this hits just a little past my elbow. All right, so we're back and we have just finished up going in with the length of our sleeve and it goes just a little bit past my elbow and just to let y'all know from the first row of single crochet all the way down to the end, I have a total of 34 rows and that's also a total of 11 inches or 28 centimeters. And then once we get to this point, we're ready to start doing our cuff. So we're going to want to figure out how long we want our cuff to be and I already know I want mine to be two inches or five centimeters. So from where we left off, we're just gonna start off by making a chain that comes out to the length we want our cuff to be. So I'm gonna make a chain of eight. Now that we have our chain, what we're gonna do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're gonna be inserting our hook and we're going to go in with a slip stitch. So it's just a yarn over, pull through everything. From here, we're just gonna be putting one slip stitch into every loop that we have going all the way down our work. Once we make it to the end, we're gonna slip stitch into that base. So I'll meet you guys back so that we can attach it into the base together. Now that we've gone all the way down with our first slip stitch row, what we're gonna do is slip stitch into that next available loop that we have into our base. So into this loop, we're gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, and that connects our first row that we just did. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next available loop going into our base, flip our work, and then from here, we're gonna be working into the back loops while still doing slip stitches. So we're gonna insert our hook into that next back loop and do a slip stitch. Next one, insert into the back loop, slip stitch. And we're actually just gonna keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end. We're gonna do a chain up of one, flip, do more back loop slip stitches until we get into the base. Once we get back to the base, we're gonna slip stitch into that next available base just like how we did a second ago. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're gonna slip stitch into the loop right after that, going up the base and then flip our work and then do more back loop slip stitches. And we're gonna keep doing that going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into. And then we'll meet each other back so that we can seam up this entire cuff. 
All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going all the way around with our back loop slip stitches for our cuff and we don't have any more loops left to go into. So all we're gonna do is just seam up this cuff and then we'll be all done with this side. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is actually just flip our cuff inside out so that our seam is along the inside, the same side that the seam of our body portion is on. And since this cuff portion is so small, the easiest way to do it so you don't have to flip the entire sleeve inside out is just flipping this portion back on itself just like this. Once when you're done, you're gonna cut and tie and then just flip it back out and you are good to go. So once when we are at this point, what I'm gonna do is make sure that my hook is inserted in through both of these corner loops. And then once when my hook is in through there, I'm going to pull through. And it's gonna be the same way that we seamed up both the shoulder and the side. So we're just gonna do the first one together and then I'll let you guys go from there. But we're gonna make sure that our hook is going in through the first available loop into the front panel and also into the next available loop that we have into that back panel. Once we have that, we're gonna single crochet everything closed. We're gonna keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut. And then once we have that, we're gonna do this entire sleeve sequence on the other side as well. Once we have both of our sleeves, I will meet you guys back so we can get started on the rest. So I've just finished up going in with both of our sleeves and now we're ready to go in with our bottom border. And we're gonna do the third one together because it's gonna be exactly the same. So as you guys can see, I went in with my first row of single crochet, but this is optional. If you guys are keeping it all one color, you guys don't need to go in with this. I'm just doing it this way so that once when I go in with my different color bottom border, this looks nice and clean. But now that this is all out of the way, now we can actually go in with the length of the bottom border. So go ahead and try this on and see how long you guys want yours to be. I've tried mine on and I want mine to be a total of four inches long or about 15 centimeters. So that comes out to about 13 chains. So go ahead and insert your hook into one of the corners and make a chain of whatever number count you guys need. And now that we have our chain count, what we're gonna do from here is block off that last chain. Do a chain up of three and that counts as a double crochet. We're gonna prepare for a double crochet. Then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from our hook with a double crochet. And then from there, go ahead and just put one double crochet into every chain that we have going all the way down. And I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect at the base. Now that we've gone all the way down, putting one double crochet into every chain. Now that we are at the base, we're going to count up one available loop and then two available loops. We're going to slip stitch into that second loop so that we close off our first double crochet row. And what we're gonna do from here is slip stitch up the next two loops to work our way up to the next row. Flip our work, we are going to prepare for a double crochet. And then from here, we're gonna do back loop double crochets. So go into every loop that we have, making sure that we're going in through the back loop. Once we make it to the end, do a chain up of three, flip your work, and do more back loop double crochets until you guys get to the base and we're gonna slip stitch and connect into the base the same way that we just did for this piece and pretty much every other piece. So go ahead and just keep going back and forth just like that until you guys don't have any more loops left to go into and then once you hit that, go ahead and cut and tie and then do the same thing for your other two bottom pieces that you have and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our bottom border for all three of our chunks that we have and now we're all finished with that and now we just have to do our little front border that we have and then we will be all done. So what we're gonna do right before we get started is actually just go in with a row of single crochet going all the way down, including, including on top of our border as well. So what we're gonna do is just insert our hook into the same loop that our first star stitch loop is in. And then from here, we're just going to single crochet all the way down, just putting one single crochet into each row that we have, so into this star stitch row we have one single crochet this single crochet row one single crochet star stitch row one single crochet single crochet one single crochet and we're just going to keep doing that going all the way down and once we have that i'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on our front border so we've just gone in with our single crochet row along this side and by this side i mean when you wear it it's going to be on the right side of you and i'm only explaining it this way because the way that we attach our hook is going to be just a little bit different on both sides, but the way that we do the stitches is gonna be exactly the same. So taking a look at the right side when we're wearing it, we're first gonna take a look at this single crochet row that we just did. And then from here, we're gonna count up two available stitches. So here's one, here's two. We're gonna insert our hook into that second stitch and we're going to grab our yarn 
if I can find the end of it, insert that onto my hook and pull through. And from here, we're going to automatically prepare for a double crochet. And then we're going to be going into the base of our back that we have right here with however many double crochets that we want. And then the amount of double crochets that we go into is going to be the length of our inner panel that we have. So like I said in the way, 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 way beginning of the video, I said that I wanted my little front border right here to be about an inch. So I'm going to go in with four double crochet. Once we have our four double crochet, what we're going to do from here is do a chain up of three flip our work and this part is actually going to be exactly the same way that we did the bottom border which is back loop double crochets and then slip stitching into the base the same way that we did the bottom so we're going to count up the next two available loops slip stitch into that second to close off that row then slip stitch into the next two available loops to start off the next row flip your work and then do more back loop double crochets and then just keep doing this along the entirety of the length that we have once we have that all the way down to the bottom I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this side all right so we are all back and as you guys can see we have one of our front borders all finished up and now we're just gonna go in with this last one right here so the stitches will all be the same I'm just gonna show you guys where to insert your hook and I'll let you guys go from there but all we're gonna do is figure out however many stitches we moved outward from this front panel like I said in that clip I went out by four stitches so on this side we're gonna count out one, two, three, four available loops. Insert our hook into that fourth. Insert our yarn onto our fourth. We're gonna pull through, do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. Once we have that, we are going to prepare for a double crochet and then go into every loop that we have until we get to the base, which is the side of our front panel right here. Once we get there, we're gonna count up two loops and slip stitch into that second loop. And since we're basically here, you're going to stick together very quickly. Insert, this is our last double crochet. Now that we're at the base, we're gonna count up one, two loops, insert our hook into that second with a slip stitch. Once when we get here, we're going to slip stitch up the next two to work our way up to the next row. We're gonna flip our work and then do back loop double crochets. Then everything else is going to be exactly the same as this side, so go ahead and get that done and then I'll meet you guys back. So we've just finished up going in with our two front borders and we are actually all done now. The last thing we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends and our duster is finally finito and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by commenting French Toast. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Believe it or not, it actually helps. I've been hearing some of you haven't been getting notified for new uploads. A trick that's worked for some is clicking the bell off and turning it back on. Super old school, but it works. Be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Reddit, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thanks so much for sticking to the end of the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.